Hi, January V24, 2021 brought what I think in many ways was a very typical British snow event. So I thought it would be interesting to have a look at it in a little bit more detail. The photos and video footage I've used were all taken in Berkhamsted, which is only about 25 miles northwest of central London. However, it is far enough away to escape the heat island effect, and also by the standards of southern England, it's quite elevated. The valley is about 110 metres above sea level, and the surrounding hills vary from about 160 metres to 180 metres. What needs to happen for it to snow? There are two key components. There needs to be enough moisture in the atmosphere, and the air itself needs to be cold enough. The first one of those was provided by this area of low pressure, which pushed eastwards across the southern half of Britain. On its northern edge, the white shading indicates snow, and on its southern flank, the blue indicates rain. There are two things to consider. On its southern edge, winds were coming from a westerly direction, so the air was moisture, dew points were higher. On its northern edge, it was an easterly flow, hence dew points were correspondingly lower. And the other point to consider is the actual upper air temperatures themselves. This chart shows air temperatures at about 1500 metres above sea level at 12 GMT on Sunday the 24th of January. The red arrow points to uh, Burke Hampstead and you can see values there are close to minus 5 or minus 6 Celsius. Further south the air is a little bit less cold, values are closer to minus 4 Celsius and that was associated with the uh, area of low pressure which was pushing eastwards at the time. So the combination of lower dew points and lower upper air temperatures to the north of London meant that precipitation kept falling as sleet or snow, whereas to the south it turned back to rain for a period of time. So anyway, enough of the theory, let's take a look at what that all amounted to. And by the early afternoon when that had eased off, the snow was about 7 centimetres deep. This chart shows the temperature, dew point and pressure that my web station recorded through the course of Sunday the 24th of January. In the morning uh, the temperature was around minus 2.5, minus 3. And then as the snow arrived in the late morning it gradually picked up and it reached a maximum of about 1.3 Celsius at 3pm in the afternoon. The dew point also climbed above 0 Celsius, I think it reached about 0.5, but throughout the period the precipitation stayed entirely as snow. As the temperatures rise the snow did become wetter, and often in the UK the really heavy snow, the stuff that's good for making snowmen, falls when temperatures are above zero. It can be even 1 Celsius, 2 Celsius, and it can still be snowing very heavily, but it does become wet, very much different to how it is in the Alps, for example, or uh, Scandinavia, where the snow is often drier and more powdery because it's fallen into drier and colder air. Also on this chart, we can see how atmospheric pressure began to rise through the afternoon as that small area of low pressure pulled away. Once it started, the snow came down thick and fast. So we went from this, to this, to this, and to this, within the space of a couple of hours. The snow was wet when it fell, and with temperatures in the afternoon climbing a little bit above zero, it became even wetter, making it ideal to make snowmen with. 
And of course there was the drip 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 sound as the snow melted off the trees. During the evening and overnight the area of low pressure moved away, skies cleared and temperatures plunged to several degrees below zero. The next day brought a spectacular sunrise and the refrozen snow presented some great picture postcard views. So the combination of temperatures slightly above freezing during the day, the wet snow sticking to everything it encountered on its way down, then the slight fall in the late afternoon followed by an overnight freeze made for a very British snow event.